I'm Vicky and this is Rocked Up Frocks where I make over vintage and pre-loved clothing. I'm completely obsessed with capes at the minute. I've made myself some sequin capes and I've made sequin capes for clients recently but today I thought I would make myself a denim cape from some of the old jeans that I've got in the studio here. So I'm going to use two pairs of black jeans. I've got this beautiful rose print fabric which I'm going to line it with which was given to me by Kimmy from What Would Blair Do? She used it as a backdrop for some of her videos. It's been sat in my stash for ages waiting for the right thing and I think it's going to be the perfect thing to line this cape with. To decorate the cape I've got some studs and I'm also going to paint it with some acrylic paint. I'm using a pattern that I've made myself but there's plenty of commercial patterns available. Um, check the costume pages of the pattern books when you're at your local fabric store as well as the coat section and I'm sure you'll find the perfect cape pattern for you there. The first thing I'm going to do is cut out the pieces for my cape. Because of the size of the jeans I'm probably going to have to put some extra seams in so I'll piece bits together as I cut. pieces together and then press them open to cut the back of the cape. So I've got all my cape pieces cut out so I've got my backs, fronts and the collars made and I had to join some extra fabric on the sides to get it big enough for the back panel and it, there's a seam down there as well and the lining of my cape is cut and joined and I've left a gap in one of the side seams of the lining and that's how we'll turn everything through the right way when we stitch the outside and lining together later on. So next I'm going to paint the back of the cape and I'm going to paint the word saved across it but I'm using acrylic paint to paint this. So the first thing I need to do is get my lettering on here and I think it's going to sit really neatly between these two seams. We've got five letters I'm going to divide this into five equal boxes and then I'm going to freehand draw the one that I want on. Cool. So I've got five equal size boxes for my five letters. The, the font I'm going to use is called New Old English and I'm just going to freehand draw each letter into the box and then paint it with my acrylic paint. Next I'm going to start adding my studs to the back of this cape so I'm going to mark on the outside where I want the first few to go so I want them in a line underneath where I've written saved. I haven't really got a plan for this I'm just going to start and see what happens. are all on the next thing I'm going to do is join the fronts and backs together and then I'm going to stitch the collar on and then join the outside and lining together so follow the um, instructions for whatever pattern you're using at this point because it might be slightly different I'm going to reuse 
use the button and buttonhole of the waistband of the jeans to do the cape up. So I'm just working out how the best way to do that is. So I think I'm going to stitch the the button on there. And I don't mind if it looks a bit rough, so I'm going to actually just cut that off and then top stitch around it. And then I'm going to sew the buttonhole into the seam the other side so it comes across far enough to do it up. I'm going to bend the piece of denim around just to hide that cut edge. I'm not going to finish it because I don't mind if it frays. Okay, my old singer goes through loads of layers of denim. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And if that pops up and frays, I think that'll look pretty cool. It'll fit in with our sort of punk aesthetic. Oh, now to stitch the lining in. So I'm going to pin this right sides together all the way around. Once I've stitched all the way around the edge, I'll turn it in the right way through the gap that I left in the sides end of the lining. Press all the edges and stitch that up and then we're done. <laughs>